It's Cematics, bitch. Okay, let's get right into this monkey shit. First of all, a while ago, I used to do this thing called Tacky Tuesdays. But since today is Wednesday, we're going to call this What the Fuck Wednesday. Because, Miss Thing, last night I had an experience on the motherfucking train. Now, let's clock this tea, and I'll take mine with two spoonfuls of honey and a squeeze of lemon. Now, I'm on the train. Now, first of all, I had to take a different train, a letter train, because the train that usually stops where I need to stop was not running, and there was, like, a shuttle bus involved, and I was like, no, Miss Bitch, I will not be doing that. So, I took a letter train and just had to walk a further distance. Now, I did not bring my foot cam, and this... Of course, the one night I don't bring my flip cam, some monkey shit goes down on the train. Now, I'm sitting on the train, and usually when I'm on the train, I got my iPod on, and I'm just zoned out. I'm like, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to see you. I'm not featuring you, queen. Movie scene done. Now, so I'm on the train. I don't have my iPod. I don't have my flip cam. So I'm sitting there, and I'm annoyed because I'm on a train that I don't need to be on because the train that I do need to be on ain't fucking running. So anyway, I'm on this train. I'm sitting down. I'm playing on my cell phone. You know, you got to put up a guard. So you need to be doing something. You need to be listening to an iPod. You need to be playing a game on your cell phone. You need to be doing something so people will not fuck with you. Now, so I'm sitting down, and a homeless man walks on the train. This is nothing new in New York City. Homeless people always on the train. And usually, I try not to make eye contact. I don't listen. I'm just like, mm, I don't see you. Nope, nope, nope. Don't talk to me. So this man comes on, and he goes in the middle of the train. You know, they start their speech about they want some money. Now, I don't know what possessed this woman sitting down to say something to this man, but... She got brave. She got a spirit up in her. She said, Whoo! I'm gonna, I'm gonna clock his tea. <laughs> no, no, ma'am. So, let's talk about this woman. She looked a rat mess, first of all. So, if she was trying to clock someone's tea, she should have been clocking her own. But anyway, she, ugh, she was a mess. So, she's sitting there. She got an attitude. He walked on the train. He started talking. And she goes, what the fuck? Why bums always come on the train? Without missing a beat, this bum turns around and says, excuse me, what did you say? And I said, oh, no, 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 ma'am, you done made the wrong mistake with the wrong bum. So he goes, excuse me. And she's like, yes. And he goes, what did you call me? And she said, I called you a bum. And he said, I'm not a bum. I'm not even homeless. She said, I'm up here. I'm trying to make a living. I want some money. And I'm not going to lie to you people. I don't want no money for no food. I don't want no beverage. I want to get high. And I, he said, look at you. I know you get high. But you think because you pay rent and you live on the fifth floor and you get high in your house. He said, well, this is my house. This is my house. And I don't have to pay rent. And I'm trying to get high up in my house. Now, I've been living on this train for nine years. And you come up on here every day paying your little $225. He said, but you come on here, you come on this subway, and you act like this is a train? No, this is a nine-car condominium. <laughs> Bitch, when he said this is a nine-car condominium, I almost fell out of my seat. I'm trying not to laugh because I was like, I don't want him to black out on me. So I'm just going to calm down. And I'm like holding my laughter. And I'm like tears are welling up in my eye. And I'm like, did he just call this a nine car condominium? Oh, no. So the lady is, mm, mm, mm. And he's like, I don't know why you got an attitude. I didn't do nothing to you. All I'm doing is asking for some money. Blacked out on her. He kept going. He started reading her outfit. Talking about whatever. He said, yeah, I smell. Who gives a damn? What's your excuse? I don't got a shower. You smell too. Like, reading her. And I was like, oh! Now, usually, I don't give no homeless people no money. I don't even give them attention. But he deserves some money. So people started clapping, and they was giving him change. And when he came my way, 
you damn right. I gave him a dollar. Mm-hmm. I gave him a dollar because I said, yes, brother man, you clocked her tea and she deserved it. Now, she's sitting on this train looking like a goddamn fool because a bum, a homeless man, just read her for the gods. So, you know, after he does that and everybody gives him his little coin, he's like, thank you, everyone who gave me coin. Thank you. And he, he exits the train politely. Now, he was probably going to the next car. I don't know if this night was like homeless rotation night, but as soon as he stepped off the train, within 10 seconds, a homeless woman comes into the car crying. And I'm not talking about, <laughs> I'm talking about the ugly cry girl. Tears, ugly cry. She had her hair pulled back in a bun, an oversized sweatshirt, some New Balance sneakers on, some big black sweatpants, boo hooing. Now I'm like, ugh, girl. Mm -mm. First thing that comes out her mouth is, I just want some money for some food and beverage. What? Now, Miss Thing, the last homeless man just ruined your Oscar winning speech. Because guess what, Miss Bitch? He already told us that he don't want the money for no food and beverage. He wants it to get high. And you look like you might want it to get high too. But now you're lying to us. So we ain't giving you no money. Now, nobody was featuring her. But, ooh, my phone. But the bitch that said something to the man, first, she didn't say nothing to this woman because she already got her tea clocked. So she was like, mm, mm, mm. She just looked like, and everybody was looking at her to see if she was going to say something. A bitch didn't open her mouth not once. And I was like, whoo, this, why don't I have my flip cam? Because I could have flip cam that whole shit. And instead of talking about it, I could, I would have just posted the video with an intro like, bitch, fall into this homeless man reading woman on train. And it would have went viral. I, oh, this is why I'm always going to carry my camera with me from now on. It's going to be my side kick. I'm not putting that shit down for nothing. I can't believe I left it home. And I was like, damn, the one night I leave it home. Miss bitch, it was something to see. Hi, Larius. <laughs> well, until next time. Bye-bye. See you next, bitch.